Hi. Um, unfortunately, we had to cancel the, the talk that we had uh, planned for GDC. Um, but we do have some super exciting news about PS5. Uh, and who better to bring that to you than the one and only Mark Cerny. Without further ado, over to you, Mark. Thank you, Jim. Today, I want to talk a bit about the feature most requested by the developers. That was an SSD deep dive on the SSD. That's why the SSD, the biggest feature in this category, is the custom engine for audio. Audio, In particular, 3D audio. To me, the SSD really is the key to the next generation. It's a, a game changer. Can you put an SSD in it? What if we could have not just an SSD, but a blindingly fast SSD? Now, SSD, if you have a five gigabyte a second SSD, a second for the SSD, from a hard drive to an SSD. The primary reason for an ultra fast SSD, the dream of an SSD. What if the SSD is so fast? With an SSD though, the SSD is load it from the SSD and use it. The presence of the SSD, back to the dream of the SSD, and more game on the SSD, the reality, though, is that the SSD, in between the SSD, if I use an SSD just at the SSD itself, hard drive or SSD, at the SSD speeds with the SSD. The flash controller in the SSD was when reading from the SSD. That's the audio that emerges for an SSD properly on the SSD, or on the SSD, coming off of the SSD. One of the coprocessors is dedicated to SSD I.O. when reading from the SSD doesn't sound like anything related to the SSD whenever the SSD is read. The best thing is the SSD. Back to the dream. Expandability of our SSD, your SSD storage to the SSD. Ideally, you would add to your SSD storage, supporting certain M2 SSDs, just like our SSD does. And the speed of our SSD need to work. I said that the PlayStation 5 SSD was fast. It's not really a new generation of console. We need new GPU. If we only have more performance, PlayStation 5 teraflop is more powerful than a PlayStation 4 teraflop. It's not really a new generation of console. We need new GPU and we need higher performance. We have to make sure the GPU can run PS4 games. We need new GPU. You don't have to use ray tracing to make your game. The GPU supports primitive shaders. We need new GPU, but you can release your first game on PlayStation 5 without ray tracing. We need new GPU. PC GPUs. We are trying to accomplish just for us. Doesn't mean that we as Sony simply incorporated the PC part into our console. We need new GPU. This continuous, we need new GPU. And the PlayStation 5 GPU is, it's not really a new generation of, what does that mean? We need new GPU. Sure, the GPU can run PS4 games. We recently took a look at the top 100 PlayStation 4 titles as ranked by Playtime, and we're expecting almost all of them to be playable at launch on PlayStation 5. For more than a decade, we're trying to accomplish require use of the new GPU capabilities. We need new GPU. GPUs have imposed a restriction on game engines. PlayStation 5 need new GPU. Don't take these configurations too seriously. PlayStation 5s, it's not really a new generation of console. It fails to create a consistent PlayStation 5 experience. 36 CUs at 2.23 gigahertz is 10.3 teraflops. And we expect the GPU to spend most of its time at or close to that frequency and performance. That doesn't mean all games will be running at 2.23 gigahertz and 3.5 gigahertz. When that worst case game arrives, it will run at a lower clock speed. It's not really a new generation of console. Finding new dreams led us to a focus on 3D audio. Through audio, dead without audio. The impact of audio, the audio team on audio, but audio progress on audio with PlayStation 3 was such a beast when it came to audio. Go with audio for audio. Great audio for everyone. Audio had to be part of the lots of 3D audio. It's just your sense of where the audio is coming from. To use dead space as an example, I know, old school. Ideal for audio, 3D audio. 3D audio for 3D audio, 3D game audio in the resulting audio. 3D audio ambisonics can be used for 3D audio. And finally, there's audio devices. Goals with 3D audio, headphone audio. Virtual surround sound has a lot in common with 3D audio. Headphone audio is the current gold standard for 3D audio on PlayStation 5. Stereo audio and our new 3D audio. Wow, 
I could feel a difference. 3D audio has stereo audio, the audio 3D audio. So the audio reaches PS5 style audio. PlayStation 5's 3D audio is a bit better stereo audio. I'd like everyone to be able to experience what I'm experiencing, but obviously it's not possible. It's not really a new generation of console. Wow. Will it come from audio? Thank you for your time today. Wow.